Hey, we're with Fancies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. What do we Where have is today? It? Mm. Where'd it go? So today we have the most exclusive, mm. elusive, oh. expensive pour. You should talk. You know, like those movie people? It's exclusive. Yeah, I don't have a... Don't well, they make it all alive. I don't have a voiceover just, voice. Mm, no. And so today we're going to try the sample. Mm -hmm. It is... Pappy 20 year. Pappy 20 year. No, I I don't go looking around for Pappy. I don't know if you do because it's just, if everybody's chasing for it, let them have it. I'll take whatever else is on the shelf that they're leaving behind. Good good on you. So, but he was generous. He was generous when he gave us a sample. Because mm -hmm. he wanted us to try it. He wanted us to try it. Didn't ask for it. He's like, hey, I got something for you. Cool. Awesome. I'll try so, it. So, I looked it up. MSRP is about $1.99. You're never gonna see that. I think I've seen it in a couple thousand dollar range. Yeah. Something yeah. crazy. Yeah. And the proof is 90.4. You have something that old and you're proofing down. To spread it around? You either spread it around or it really wasn't that great to begin with. I don't or is, know. or I mean, okay, at a bourbon at that age already, isn't that, that too woody? You would think that would be woody, but I don't know. Because some of the fifteen years we've tried, they oh, haven't. Barely. But they have been, you know, like a blend of a couple barrels at a time. So you can maybe blend that out. This isn't a single barrel product, I don't believe. No. Okay. I don't think so. So, well, I'm going to see what it smells like. Oh. It smells like butterscotch. Straight up. Butterscotch bomb. But it, it's very faint besides the butterscotch. I love butterscotch. That's butterscotch. all I'm getting is butterscotch. That's all I'm getting. That's, well. that's all I'm getting. It's, it, it smells that it's very light. Does that make sense? Because yep. that's all I'm getting is that smells, sweet butterscotch. It smells a little thin, mm. light, light. I wouldn't say thin, but it and smells I, light. Yeah. I'm not saying thin because of the, the proof. Because it, it you does have some hitters really at 45. Good, though, doesn't it? But I am hoping that this is just straight butterscotch bomb. Oh, I would be palette. happy for this. I would be palette too, happy. Because if, if what it's smelling like on the palette that would be amazing but i don't know about like a couple thousand dollars just go buy a bag of worthers if i'm going by the the, the nose yeah all righty mm. go ahead oh i get the first dip yeah oh absolutely wait oh do you get a little medicinal a little bit there's something on the back end okay. that i can't tell i just it got is. it when i was gonna shove it right in my face i was like wait a minute it's got butterscotch and then a slight barrel dryness it could be it but it's almost like if you're taking a some kind of nighttime medicine on the very back <laughs> I don't end. smell that, but... I, I knows those. NyQuil. It's a thing to do. It's a rage. So I get... So I get butterscotch, but I also get a cinnamon right on the finish. Do you get cinnamon? I do. Almost red hot. And like red hot. Tannic from the wood, obviously, but... I, I, this is how much is it must be? Two bills. I wouldn't even pay two bills for this. Like it, it's it's good. It's not unpleasant, but it's not. $2 it's very dollars. specifically cinnamon on the finish, is it? It's not just me, right? It's not, but it's. I, I get more of a. And there's a bitter, bitter. Botanic. I'm getting more of like the barrel on the back end. It's not more of like a cinnamon bomb like some others. Mm -hmm. um, but. That butterscotch on the nose definitely comes out at the front right of the, the palate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right there. It. I get a little of the barrel on the finish. Like, mm -hmm. that's what lingers on my palate after I've... It has a nice finish, though. Like, the length of it's kind yeah, of nice. Yeah, mm, mm, it's kind of ends short to me. It's just you get the barrel. That's that's all it's that's in my mouth. That's it. That's, that's not, like, a really a finish. That's just, like, here you go. Here's what you want. Aftertaste? Yeah, like, okay. it's... I think people call, I, some people qualify that as the finish, but I, okay, that's not much of a finish for me because you're not just tasting like all those flavors. It's just that one note barrel wood. That's it. I mean, I want that spice in there as well for the finish. It's just not just wood. I'm kind of underwhelmed, but I didn't go into it with high expectations because if people are clamoring for it, it's generally not. It's okay. It doesn't, um, but it's just, it's not my favorite. It's not my flavor profile. It's oh, it's good, but in a candy kind of way, like a candy it on a stick like, of wood. It tastes like Red Hots, the candy. I'm not getting that much prominent like you are. No, not like not that um, not the intensity, mm -hmm. but the note. I feel Does like that make sense? as if you put a Red Hot and you put it in a glass of water. I like cinnamon a lot, 
But, but I don't know if I like saying. this. It's it's not very complex to me. It's butterscotch, cinnamon, and barrel bi- barrel bitter. Yeah, and I don't know if it's because they twenty years it in a barrel so much, but we don't know how much they proofed it down. Like how how what was ABV before? I don't know. There's twenty years Did in a barrel. It? I have no idea. I definitely like the butterscotch part, um, I, but that's all it has it going for me. Right. I think I agree with you that. I probably wouldn't pay $200 oh, for it. Oh, absolutely not. Because it's, there's uh, other bourbons I would rather have for $200. You can buy a couple really good bottles for $200. I would take my $200 um, and go buy like an old Carter. Absolutely, and you'll still have change left over. Yeah. I, I could get like do a not, hamburger at the um, end. That'd yeah, be awesome. that'd be awesome. Okay, this is where I, I was going to go with. Too fast. I don't want to be disrespectful. Okay. No, you know I'm not I mean? disrespecting. It's, I'm just saying but, um, I, I just don't get it. I don't understand either that people are paying thousands of dollars for a bottle of this, but more than likely the public not even opening it. It's just like, hey, look, Is look it? what I have. Well, yeah, I, question for you. Have you tried Pappy 20? What did you guys think? Did you Was it your jam and it was the most delicious thing you've tasted? Or were you a little underwhelmed? It's my candy. Let us know. The nose um, is amazing. But Do you feel that it's very soft and not offensive that you can just literally just take a shot of it and not... You, Could you, know? you imagine someone taking shots of a Pappy 20? I would. People's heads, most people's heads would explode if they saw someone do that. <laughs> just did. <laughs> that, that was not offensive at Maybe all. Maybe that's what people like about it. Do you want that actually made me have uh, more flavor? Oh. That's how you drink a Pappy 20. Take a shot. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? Nothing. Nothing. No burn. No. Um, well, at 90... There's some bourbons that's at 90 that yeah, those, are full flavor, complex, and they're proof down to actually what probably warrants them for that profile. Yeah, but they're probably not 20 years old. Anyway, no. So, final verdict? Final verdict. I'm passing all day, every day, even for MSRP. Yeah. If I got it as a gift, I would look at someone to be like, what the hell are you spending the money for? Like, like what? Can you get a refund? Because I'm not about selling something to make money on uh-huh. secondary. If you're going to trade for a bottle, make sure you trade for a fair value. Yeah. Well, but thanks for tuning in. Keep if it like, Absolutely. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on some of the other fun bourbons that we're going to try. And leave the Pappy 20 on the shelf. Cheers. Don't buy it.